Towering above Clydeside, cradle of the Ocean Queens, the latest Cunada awaits her launching. Planned to lead a double life, she'll ply the North Atlantic trade at its busiest, and in the slack winter season, she'll take holidaymakers on cruises around the world. The name of the new liner was a closely guarded secret known to only four people when Queen Elizabeth arrived to perform the naming and launching ceremony. And so the great ship moves seawards, a moment of high emotion for the men of vision who financed her, the designers who planned her, and for the tens of thousands upon Clydeside who took part in the making of her. Fourteen hundred tons of drag chains were there to check the liner's speed on the way down to the water. The narrow Clyde gives little margin to so big a vessel. Fifty-eight thousand tons of her, she's not so big as her forerunners, but faster and more compact. She'll carry nearly as many passengers and use only half as much fuel. Like her great predecessors, the new liner will write a further chapter in the story of ocean travel, in this, the second Elizabethan age.